morning vegan savages i'm standing in front of my wardrobe today i show you my minimalistic wardrobe so it starts down here uh, wait yeah i show you my minimalistic wardrobe later because i have appointments still dark outside so we wait until the sun hopefully hopefully i mean look at the sky there's no sun inside so if you want to skip ahead timestamp down below but why would you do that why would you skip my vlog just sit back enjoy this vlog let's get a stay started today i get my blood results i made i tested everything across the board and in another video i we go into that see if i'm deficient vegan or not but first you know what time it is Yesterday I complained that the juice spills all over the place and someone wrote, hey, just use this lid. And you're so right, the lid is the game changer. Cheers! <sighs> so in two vlogs I told you I gotta choose, I'm doing the juice experiment, drinking cream juices based off vegetables for the next two weeks or so and see if I notice any difference and one difference I'm excited about which I will see if I see a difference now is having a greater pump in the gym because now I hit the gym that will be my first training on the juice yeah not that kind of juice I'm talking about the good juice I'm talking about earth grown nutrients baby that makes me vibrate higher. <laughs> so let's attack the gym. Let's see how the pump will. Oh no, I'm scared. I will tear apart. Let's see. Oh, I'm just so excited. And people ask me all the time, now that you sing, uh, what do you do all day long? <laughs> Simple. Just turn songs like this on and. I don't know if that is a dumb idea, but I just clean the juicer every third day or so because it goes straight from here to here and all the starchy fiber that can accumulate there for a couple of days, right? You should comment down below and tell me. I, I, I'm literally waiting for you that you Google and go Just kidding, I can Google myself and I, yeah. <laughs> Juice power. So much happening outside my window. They just broke the foam roller in the middle, so now you have two. Super smart. Oh wow, free Christmas trees. Should I get one for my apartment? Nah, that's not so minimalist. I'd rather let my mom do it in Munich and look forward to that. I need a girl like you. Uh, get out of my head. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I need a girl like you. Ooh, ooh. The prophecy is true. 
Yo, this bicycle looks so perfect. Uh, okay, let's take the. Yo, okay, let's just stay with my bicycle. Yo, what the heck? Don't leave your bicycle outside during night in Berlin. Ooh. When I moved here, I was wondering how can I open these windows and the only possibility was this button. And I was so scared to press it because I don't know what happened. And what happened is... Boom! But then I always close this one. So I don't hit my head coming out of the elevator. What did happen a couple of times. Good that I wear a helmet. So now we get some fresh air into our hallway. I know, yesterday in the vlog I was a bit mean and at the end left a cliffhanger. What is in the package and what new Vegan Savage merch I got. Well, the Vegan Savage merch mostly was for Scorpio Mind, girl stuff, which you will see in the future. Brand new merch that I'm not showing you yet. We first tested, but I got a kale hoodie, the slim black hoodie for myself in large. <gasps> Looking fresh. Guys, eat your cruciferous vegetables. Just do it. Do it. But I'm actually feeling kind of hot. Whew. So what was in the package? <gasps> what is that? Is it a toy? Is it a ball for kiwi? What is in there? It's actually a washing ball. Some of you guys recommend it. And this is so cool. You just put it in the washing ma machine and you need no washing detergent whatsoever. You just need this ball and it will last five to seven years. Can you believe that? There are just some microorganisms, bacteria that will clean your laundry just as well as washing detergent would accomplish, but this is just completely without any chemicals. Saves about $1,300 in three years. That's a lot of TH. <laughs> yep, so I used it yesterday. I put it in the washing machine and the only small downside, and I don't consider it really as a downside, is that it makes a bit more noise, but you hardly hear it. So uh, that's the only downside. And my clothing smells just like nothing, just clean, just neutral. That's how I like it. So no chemical stuff or anything. I will just use this now for the next five to seven years, probably seven years because I'm single. I wash only about once or twice per week. I would say rather once per week. So that's nothing. So this will last the next seven years. That's so cool. The prophecy is true. Let me know if you heard of eco washing balls and if you use one and how you like it. I think the idea is just fantastic. I'm a protein and vitamin B12 deficient vegan and will probably die in the next 24 hours. All oh, my blood results are looking perfect. Well, 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 I tell you everything about my blood results in a future video, so like and subscribe. Stop giving up. Finally, breakfast. It's already past one. Mm. Uh, you're so boring. You're eating the same thing for breakfast every day. It's just so good. It's like ice cream. Who doesn't want to eat ice cream for breakfast? And it's so healthy. The more you eat, the healthier you get. And so easy to digest. I just eat it and the rest of the day, da -da 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 -da, I can just keep going. Yo, let's stop here. That is not a mukbang. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, I do a voiceover for my minimalist wear trope. So let's just get right into it. It starts off with my shirts, which are quite a lot because I have a lot of Vegan Savage merch shirts because I mostly order them all, which I bring out new to test them, how I like to design the print and everything, and then often just give it away to my friends. So that's why I have a lot, but keep that in mind that I always give away shirts, but I just want to make sure the print and everything is on point before I put it on my merch store. So you see here the Kiwi, Bland Based Athlete, Vegan Savage, Pineapple, you know my merch design. So these are all my Vegan Savage shirts. Now here's the stuff I also mostly use. My pants, first this pants, I have the same three times. I mostly, when I have something I liked and I buy it multiple times so I don't have to think about it. What should I wear this day, th that day? No, I have only the same pants so I don't spend every time thinking about it. 30 seconds which accumulate over time. So these are my day-to-day -day pants which are more like joggers and they have this zipper right here so nothing can fall out. I can put my phone and my 
vlogging camera in the pockets and I'm make sure they don't fall out. So I love those and they're super stretchy so I can squat in them and everything. But mostly in the gym, I wear those, those shorts. I have twice the same. You probably saw them so often, me wearing them. Then these are my comfort pants, which I mostly wear at home or when I go out for stuff like playing table tennis with my friends. So these are a bit warmer and they're just so damn comfortable. And these are my quote unquote normal pants which I wear when I go out and do something more formal so they look like normal kind of jeans but they're also super stretchy because really important is for me that they're comfortable that is so important for me and that I have freedom in there that I can squat and jump around and be silly and do stuff and they don't tear and don't feel super tight then this one is my bathing what is it called bathing truck um, and here I have two tank tops the vegan savage tank tops i know for men they're not yet out i'm still figuring out which one i really like but those are the two i have and then here are the socks short black socks that's all i own i don't like long socks and these are all the same so i don't need to match and find the same one now i can just match whatever because they're all the same that's how i like it and this one is also a long sleeve but i think i also get rid of this one because now i have my vegan savage slim hoodies which i wear all the time i have no need for this one anymore so i give this away as well then in my second compartment the stuff i don't use that often for example underwear i rarely wear underwear for now the last five years or so basically never so yeah but i still keep a few just in case because for example when we were in amsterdam on the rooftop this happened Be a vegan and then it's good to have a pair of underwear because I was not allowed to be naked up the rooftop. Then I have my bland based athlete hoodie, the baggy hoodie, but I mostly wear the slim because this one is a bit too warm mostly for me. I still love this one. I wear mostly the slim hoodies because I'm mostly warm and then this hoodie just gets too hot for me. But winter <laughs> isn't really here yet. So when winter really kicks in, then I'm so happy to wear the more baggy hoodie, the warmer hoodie. Then this is my simple black hat. I'm not really a hat person, but when the sun shines in and I want to see the screen, I wear this one. The scarf, I'm not really a scarf person either. And this is my swimming goggles and this I use as a belt. It's just a shoelace. And here's my functional underwear, which I wear when it's really cold and I go out for a run and then I just wear those under my pants. And this is my powerlifting outfit. And yeah, don't ask. I did one powerlifting competition and I still have this. And yeah, maybe I also sell it um, because I don't plan to do another powerlifting competition. And then down here, uh, I have this, <laughs> that was the first vegan savage design of my merch. This um, gorilla with all the chakras aligned. That was actually my first drawing. I did draw it myself and I think it still looks super cool. So maybe I put this back in the vegan savage merch store. And then those are just shirts I don't wear now because I have my vegan savage merch. So I probably give them away. Should I send them to you guys? Some worn vegans shirts or I just donate them or give them to my friends. But yeah, I still have them. If you follow me for a while, you remember sawing me in these shirts quite a bit and then down here is nothing because that's all I own no wait that's not true I also have my jacket and my other slim hoodies right here but that's everything I own regarding clothing or oh, that's not true here are also my gloves and my bandana stuff I just put over my head but that's it that's everything I own regarding clothing so super minimalist quite a lot of shirts because of my vegan savage merch which i order a lot but as i said i give it away i just test it and see if the quality is all right but that's everything i own it makes my life so simple i can just pick the same pants the same socks every day and don't need to worry about or think about what should i wear this day that day no i just pick something <laughs> all i think about and i love to think about that is what kind of vegan savage shirt or hoodie i wear but i love that do I go to the gym now? Oh, I wear the bland based athlete hoodie. Or do I just hang out? Or I wear the vibrate higher hoodie. Or do I wear a pineapple or a kiwi? So, and that just takes me like one second. And I love that because, hmm, what do I want to wear today? And that is great. So I still have a variety of what I can wear as a minimalist. But the rest regarding pants and underwear, I don't even wear underwear and socks and stuff. Super simple, I have the same. Or only one pair like my rain jacket and that's it. Mm -hmm.
on my treadmill editing this vlog here's my setup it's already dark outside that means nothing at 4 30 and already dark anyway how did you like my minimalist wear drop do you consider myself a minimalist or do you still think that's a lot what about you how much stuff do you have and do you really wear most of the stuff you have watch yourself way too much but cannot detach yourself from it hey we're all humans. I just recommend do what makes you happy and what serves you. And for me, having only the stuff I wear, I love, I use, I honor, that serves me. And today, it's Kiwi. And my comfortable pants and my black socks. And yep, no underwear. So I'm really looking forward to your comment about your wear drop, what you think about mine, all that stuff now, because this video is over. So write out a comment, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope you liked this voiceover, but you let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, until next time, peace out.